Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome back to the Wix Wiz. This is the third video in our custom cart series, and today we're going to start with building out the order summary section that you can see right over here uh, on the right. And it's really cool, and it moves along with the page, so that's a kind of perk that we're adding in. Uh, and basically, we're going to be talking about how to get those totals, display them, and also update them whenever a change is made to the cart. So if you want to learn how to do all that and more, let's get started. Okay, so as I said, uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about this order summary area here that we have uh, on the right. And we're going to be talking about how to display the subtotal, delivery, total, etc., including taxes here uh, inside of our custom cart. And in order to do this, we're going to be using this API. Uh, so it's, again, within the Wix Ecom backend uh, and within current cart. It is the estimate current cart totals. And once we use this API, it gives us back a lot of information uh, regarding the current cart and the totals of the current cart. Uh, we're not going to be diving into each and every section that we have here. And we're really going to be talking about one of the most basic situations because the Wix stores app is quite complex and does allow a lot of different customized settings for checkouts and what you display, what you don't display, how you calculate things, what you allow and what you don't allow. And I'm taking into account here that once you're customizing, you're going to have to pay a little more attention to your specific needs, and you're going to have to accommodate those needs via the code. Uh, so we're going to be talking about the most basic situation where we're just displaying the totals of the cart. And if your situation you feel might be a little more complex, then your answers are most likely here inside of this documentation. And specifically within this estimated current cards total, we're going to be focusing here on this price summary. Okay, so this price summary here, that's where we're going to be finding all the information information regarding our totals. Uh, and we're going to be building this out inside of our editor and putting it uh, right over here uh, on the right hand side like it is inside of the Wix cart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment here just to put out the basic elements that we're going to need for this um, order summary display. And then I'll be right back with you in order to connect it via code. Okay, So I've gone ahead and created my custom design for my car page. And you can see here that it basically reflects the same fields that we have inside of the Wix order summary. I just kind of rounded out the edges and I decided to move my checkout button here to the bottom. And I've also pinned it so that it kind of moves along with the user when they scroll up or down. I think that's a cool uh, addition to this uh, cart page. And what we're going to do now is we're going to first use the estimate current cart totals API inside of our backend. We're going to import that into the front end, and then we're going to populate each of these individual text elements with the actual totals that are reflected by the cart. So first, I'm going to head over to our back end and we're going to be implementing it here inside of this uh, cart file that we already created for our other back end functions. So I'm just going to go and head into that file and right over here on the bottom of all the functions, I'm going to go ahead and create a new function and I'll export it so that we can use it on the front end and it's going to be asynchronous function get cart totals. And inside this function, all we're going to be doing is using that API. So I'm going to say const cart totals equals to await current cart dot estimate current cart cart current cart totals. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister there. And then I'm going to return those cart totals so that we can use them uh, in the front end. Okay, that's all we need to do here in the back end. So let me zoom out. I'm going to grab this function and I'm going to import it here uh, on the top of our front end along with all the other imports uh, from that file. Okay, these are all from the back end uh, cart file over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a completely new function. So let me go over here and I'll create it under our render cart function because its functionality is going to be similar to render cart and we're probably going to use it in our render cart function as well. Uh, so I'm going to add it here right under it. 
And this is going to be essentially a function that populates our cart totals. So before I head in and start writing the function, I'm just going to name our elements. So let me go over here uh, and select this element right over here. And then I'm going to head down to our naming and we can call this one subtotal. And then I'm just going to go on and name each one like that. So let me select delivery and I'll call that. Uh, let me go over here. That'll be delivery. And then we'll select tax. Okay, I'll call this one tax. And then I will select total. And I will call it total. Okay, so that's just the naming. Uh, and I did it together so that you know what each element, uh, what each element is. And now we can go ahead and start writing our function. So let me go ahead and zoom in here. And this is going to be an asynchronous function because we're getting the information from the back end. And let's call it populate cart totals. And the first thing we're going to do is get the cart totals. So we'll say const cart totals equals to await get cart totals. And if you'll recall, uh, so within these cart totals, we have the price summary. And that's what we're going to be using uh, to populate our, um, our order summary, essentially. And within each one of these subfields, so you, for example, here we have subtotal, and we have amount, we have formatted amount, and we have formatted converted amount. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what each one of these things are, and we'll see them in a moment, but I'm guessing that we're going to be using either the formatted amount or the formatted uh, converted amount. And converted amount might be if they're using uh, a tool to, for example, see the amount in a different currency, uh, then that might be what what plays here inside of the converted amount. Uh, so let's go back to the editor. And specifically within the cart totals, what I want is the price summary. So that's what's important to me at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to extract that directly out of the cart total. So I'm going to say here price summary. And then we just need to go into each of our elements. So we're going to have here our subtotal dot text. And we're going to have, let me copy this over. So we're going to have four of these. Whoops. And we're going to have our delivery. And we're going to have our tax and we're going to have our total. Okay, so this is these are all the, the elements that we're trying to populate. So our subtotal is going to be equal to price summary dot subtotal dot and we'll do formatted amount to start with. And I'll do the same thing for all the others. So it's going to be price summary. And here instead of subtotal, we're going to have let me just double check in the documentation. So we're going to have here, let's see. Okay, so here they called it shipping. Okay, shipping and tax and total. Okay, so we have that annoying situation where our front end and our back end terminology is not exactly the same, but we'll deal with it. Uh, so this is going to be uh, shipping, shipping. And this is going to be tax. And this is going to be total. Awesome. And I'm just going to also add in a console log here. Console, whoops. Console.log. And I'm going to log the price summary just so that we can see what it looks like in the console and have a better understanding about of what fields it includes. Uh, also, if we have any bugs, that will help us uh, identify it. And now we need to think about when we want to call this populate cart totals function. Okay. And there are two places that I want to call it. Okay, so let me zoom out for a second. One is when we first load the entire page. So here we have a function that is populate cart items. And when we run the on ready, I also want to call the populate cart totals. 
Okay, so that's something we're going to want to do as soon as the page loads. Another time that we're going to want to do it is when we call our render function. Okay, and the render cart again is a function that is called whenever our cart gets updated. And this, what well, the code we already have here is the code that updates our line items. So under it, I'm also just going to add the function that populates populate cart totals. Okay, so anytime there's any update to our cart, we'll know that we also want to re-render the cart totals. Okay, uh, and now we're ready for some testing. So I'm going to go ahead and publish the site and head over to the live site and see if this was successful. Okay. So here I am on the live site and initially it looks pretty good. Okay, so we have numbers being displayed here for each of our totals uh, instead of some random element. So that's initially successful. Let's take a peek at our console logs here and see uh, what the price summary object looks like. Um, so let's, for example, go here into uh, subtotal and here, yeah, so I see that in this case, the formatted amount and converted amount is the same. Uh, so I'd have to do a little reading up on when the formatted converted amount is what we want to display. Um, yeah, so you'll, you'll be wanting to display one of these two. Uh, a little more research is warranted. Um, but otherwise, it seems to be working. And I just want to double check that this works also when we make a change. So let's say, for example, I add a, another uh, item here using, yeah, so you see here that we updated the line item, and you see here that also our totals are updated. Uh, and if I go into the shop, and then I try and add, let's say, a new product, so let's add this to cart, and let's take a look at our custom cart page, and we can see that the new total is reflected over here. Uh, and if I was to go, let's say, into my site settings and set it up so that I collect tax for certain countries, then it should display here as well. Uh, and regarding delivery, the same. Uh, we still have some things that we need to add to this order summary. So one thing that we didn't include here that is included uh, inside of the API is the additional fees. Um, so this is the new SPI that Wix has that you can add additional fees. So let's say if you're implementing the SPI on your website, then you're going to want to also add these additional fees to be displayed in your cart. If you're not using the SPI, then you don't necessarily need it. So it's kind of like an add-on. And that's what I was trying to say in the beginning of the tutorial, that you can be a little more calculated about what you need to implement from this based on your specific business needs. That's part of the perks of, of customizing. Uh, one Two more things that we're going to talk about in the next episode regarding the cart totals. Um, so one thing that's missing here is the drop down where you can go ahead and change the country. So if we take a look here, and if I click here, Tokyo, Japan, then I have the option to change the country and then get a pre-calculated uh, delivery based on, on that information. Uh, so that's something that we're going to add in the next episode. And another thing we're going to do is talk about how to enter a promo code. And then we'll also want to display information about the discount and the promo code that was added here inside of the order summary. Uh, so if you uh, enjoyed this tutorial then and you want to see all those things for the next episode, then I highly recommend subscribing to the channel. Uh, and just don't forget to give a thumbs up. Uh, and if you have any questions or anything you'd like to see in this custom cart series, then please leave that in the comments below. And I will see you next time.